KG5EIU. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks with FT8 and SDRC or SDR control with an ICOM 7760. So we have here, uh, of course, we have a, a, a representation of the front of the radio here in this video pane. We've got SDR control up and running. We've got FT8 uh, running, and we also have some network stats over here to keep things interesting. But you can bring up FT8 over here under the tool menu. There's uh, FT8. And we've got the radio. We're up here on uh, 14073. Now, inside the FT8 app, inside SDR control, you can select manual or the, from the drop down. If you select manual, which I have selected right now, it doesn't engage until you hit the RX button. Watch my frequency up there, right? So here I go RX. It engages the, the FT8 tool and starts processing. Now, if you look, you can see inside this window where my RX and TX is. And I have the little padlock down here with RX and TX. I can unlock that. And I've got two options. I can type in here, say I wanted to move the RX down to a thousand. <clears throat> a thousand. And if you go back up here and look in the window, you can see where the, the RX and TX has been moved on the offset. Alternatively, you can right click in this screen and set each one independently. So here, if I'm right clicking here in the TX, I'm setting my TX down here and you can see down here it's, it's TX. And so if I wanted to call CQ here, um, I'd be I'd be ready to go. Uh, the other thing is is that um, you'd want to change this uh, uh, individual message, which is going to be CQ. My call sign um, EM thirteen. So if I wanted to call CQ, I can look in this graph here. Of course, uh, I can change the scale of this graph by dragging this up and down. <clears throat> the other thing you can do on the radio is if you press and hold the expand set on the front of the radio, you can change your center point back over here to filter center. And it's going to move basically the display over a little bit so you can see what's going on now um, you can see the call signs uh, you can see the call signs and the font size right so if you go up here on SDR control and you go to the main settings and you go over here to spots you can change where those are so if you if you slide this little slider for spot location, look, I can change where those spot locations go, right? So maybe something like right about there, give me a little bit of room. And of course you can make the fonts as big or small as you want, right? So I think a happy medium, you know, that looks pretty good, old eyes. But that's how you set that up and that's how you unlock or lock the TX and RX inside of uh, FT8. Of course, uh, you could can all of that and just go with the pre, pre the presets, right? So if, if I go back up here, I'm still in manual mode. I have to adjust the frequency either at the front of the radio or with a RC28 or here in the app. If I switch to automatic mode, right? I just select 20 meters and I hit the RX button. Um, it sets the radio up for FT8. I could still unlock the transmit, transmit receive down here and I'm still able to click over here and set the different frequencies. So either way, so that's uh, some tips and tricks with FT8 and SDR control. 7-3 from 
KG5 EIU.